What is up beautiful people welcome back to a brand new episode now this one once again will be a mixture between my hardcore Iron Man and my main account you guys seem to like the last one so we're keeping this one th this thing for now we're doing Slayer on both accounts at the moment trying to get to 99 Slayer on the main and while just generally enjoying the Conar Slayer on the hardcore Iron Man mainly because of all those new drops that really make Slayer a little bit more interesting now in this episode we're also gonna be killing about a hundred hydras with twisted bow thanks to michael um, and we're gonna be able to compare a little bit the prices between doing uh, hydras with blowpipe and twisted bow so if that's something you're interested in stay tuned uh, everything in this slayer packed episode all right, ladies and gentlemen, I haven't been able to record for a little bit, but Kurask seemed to be an amazing task for my hardcore Iron Man, and they just tweaked the drop rate around. And in this task alone, we got 127 U-Logs, 300 Runite Bolts, 15 Runite Ores, and 160 Raw Sea Turtles. Now, the reason for the Sea Turtles, those would usually be Sharks, but now it depends on the fishing level that you have. And luckily enough, my hardcore has a pretty decent fishing level, so we're now getting the sea turtles. Uh, as I said, they changed the drops around a little bit, but that is pretty nice, if I can say so myself. Definitely makes Slayer more interesting, and uh, they nerfed it, but I hope they don't nerf it even more. This is this one, if you land on this one, it's actually a small little bit of a buff, so that's very exciting. Got ourselves a Necriarch on the main, let's see what do we get. Alright, good luck us. And we just get the Dark Totem base, which is perfectly fine. We have got another one. Let's see what we get in this one. Hopefully I don't die while I'm tagging these. 3k XP and Dark Totem middle. Nothing special. 421 coal. 100k worth. That's the first Necreal rare drop. So not bad. 100k extra right there. Next drop, 25 rubies worth 43,000. So not too great, but... All right, another big Nerky arc. Big. I've been getting a lot of these, man. That's uh, it is uh, really nice. Run square shield and dark totem middle. Not bad. Just done with another contract. Let's see what do we get from this seed box. You okay? Let's just spam click it. Kanava, boom, boom, shit, eat it, watermelon, you, yeah, not too great. Let's take a new contract, another hard one, and the next one, some dwarf wheat seed. No problem, let's do it. I have just gotten Drake's Tooth, uh, which I'm gonna assume is, well, it says it's 120k. I don't know what it does, but I guess it's the first unique, so that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, I can't really sell them because people don't know these things even exist and people are calling me scammer on the GE So I'll just use them for now until people are more aware of them and I'll just return back uh, and kill some drakes Never mind. I got scammed. My legs are burning when I use these boots. So what? Uh... Not gonna lie, the drop table feels pretty disappointing once again. The I mean the the, the the drakes look amazing. It's probably one of the nicest looking creatures in the game, but the drops just don't justify killing them. Like what I'm getting the dragon maces, which are like 30k, a couple of nature runes here and there, and outside of that is just like I can just go kill wyverns AFK if I want to get better drops than this. Like, even wyverns drop better stuff, I feel like. So, I think I'll be skipping this task after this trip. I just can't see myself killing another hundred of these. Um, I just don't think it's worth it. Mm, maybe they have, like, a fairly high chance of dropping to the Konar specific drop table, but I still don't think it is worth it. So, uh, yeah, I'll skip this after I guess this kill. On this task I landed on a couple of drops already and here is the first coin drop so the, that is the updated version as I was mentioning earlier I think if I didn't mention they basically updated the drop table now you can actually get coins so 130k right there and we also got coal a little bit prior to that also fairly decent I'm currently doing this method of jealous it is a very very nice uh, and very decent XP per hour actually I was not aware of that but this is amazing I made a video about it on my second channel. If you guys ever feel like giving me some watch time so I can potentially at some point monetize my second channel, feel free to check it out. Some leak content there, there some runescapes, some dirt rally racing, all sorts of weird shit, man. But anyways, um, let's continue with the video. Runite Bolts is the new rare drop. Not bad at all. 
definitely not feeling too rot, so I'll just give this one, and the new one is Worms. So we haven't tried this one out, so I'm actually excited to try them out, or maybe not, because I know they're not gonna be good. If Drakes are not good, these are probably not gonna be good either, but let's try them, fuck it. Alright, so there's no real reason for me to kill this. As you can see, they are really slow to kill. Um, and I cannot put a cannon here, and I just got their two rune full helms. But I, I just don't think it's worth it. No matter how long the kill takes, like, I, I killed a lot before that, and I didn't get much. Uh, I mean a lot, I say a couple of kills, and I just think it's not worth it, because the XP is just super slow, you need a lot of time to just kill one, and you cannot place a cannon, so... That just pushes me away from doing this task. So this task and Drake's just aren't worth it. Even Hydra's aren't worth it. But I'll, I guess I'll do the boss on stream if I get a task. So no longer gonna be doing this. Alright, so I got myself another Hydra task. Now thanks to Michael, he lent me a T-Bow to use it for the task. Because else I just wouldn't do it. The thing is this task takes solid 10 hours to complete. Or like 8-9 hours depending on how many you have. And is honestly just about 2 million an hour if you don't have, if you don't get any uniques. Not even, it's actually below 2 million an hour if you don't get uniques. Um, because, well, now I have over 200 KC and I can comfortably confirm that. Um, but either way, um, here is the first trip, about 400k. And let's see all the other loot. And then we're all gonna combine all of the 100 together. You'll see what I mean. 111kc, 600k this trip, got a lot of restore and ranging pod drops in this one, so not the best trip unfortunately. Kill count is now 117, we got an extra 500k. 25, I mean 125 kills in, and uh, we got another mil, and so far we have made 2.85 mil, not bad. Kill count is 133, and we got another million, 500k. Yay, there we go. One, hun one minute and 38 seconds, new personal best, not bad. 800k from this one, a little bit different scenery. I will do my farming contract and my herb died, so feels fucking bad, man. 760k more, not bad. 900k from this trip, we have 41 left to do. It's looking pretty okay. 600k, 500k. 650k, we have 15 kills left to do. 786k and we have 7 left to kill, let's go. And there it is, we have completed another 100 Hydras. And uh, I can comfortably say that it is just as disappointed as the last time I did them, so... Uh, that's a little bit awkward, we're quickly gonna teleport out of here. And uh, I'm actually gonna show you the official uh, Runelite plugin that records all of the kills. And if I drag this right here, uh, as you can see, I made only 10.1 million in 100 kills, which took me about five hours and a half to complete. Boom, Mika from the future here. Uh, that wasn't actually that much money. Hydra bones were half the price that they were shown here. So. Um, I could only sell them for 3.6k each, but they are described here in this price check as if they were 8,000 each. So I actually got much less than it's actually shown here. Alright, let's continue with the video. So this boss is... J if you don't get uniques, it is really hot dog shit. Um, outside of that though, um, the boss is kind of fun to do. Uh, the bow well, made everything a lot easier thanks to Michael and now I actually have a different idea I'm gonna go ahead and complete elite current diaries simply bef because I just want to have them done because then I will no longer have to have boots of stone equipped I will be able to just have Pegasians which will be awesome uh, so there you have comparison yesterday I mean the day before I got about 11 million with blowpipe however all in all uh, the cost of uh, the cost of uh, scales and darts was uh, much more than the cost of 700 dragon arrows. So yeah, Hydra, uh, it's a little bit of a yikes. All right, so outside of the actual price check, I'm just gonna sell these bones because I'm interested at what price they're going for at the moment. Honestly, that's pretty sad, hold up. Let me try to buy one first and then I'll sell the others. 
Um, Hydra bone. They're so cheap. The fuck? What? I'm slightly confused. Anyways, uh, there it is. 800k from bones, and the other things were just about uh, just about right. Quest number one. There we go. Forsaken Tower completed. The reason why we had to do all of that annoying stuff is because now I can do this and teleport here, teleport here, teleport here, teleport here, and teleport here. And there we go. That's a medium diary. Freaking scam that is. All right. Well, let's finish more diaries. And there we go, the hard diary is nearly completed. Talking to Captain Khalid, Khalid DJ, whatever. Uh, there we go, hard's done. Let's claim some rewards really quick. No, fuck, wrong place. God damn it. Hard. And then we're gonna finish elites when my tree grows fully. Um, but first things first, Elise, looking like a proper noob right here. Give me everything. And now we're gonna have a very quick teleport to Hydras as well, so that's awesome. And it's unlimited. And uh, it's the best in slot blessing as well. So I'll grab a couple of these. And we're gonna put experience into room crafting here. Um, boom. And boom. And boom. I'll do all the other elites, but just to show you guys, you can teleport to Mount Karum. And here you go. Beautiful for Hydras. It's amazing. Did they make Scotizo harder, Chan? Last time I remember, I would just come in here and the AFK. Oh well, there we go. It's done. It's over. Now we have to do raids and then wait for our tree to grow and we are done with tasks. What do we get? Anglerfish. Dark Claw. Hey, hey, wait. That's pretty rare, I think. <laughs> Well, I could put this on my helm uh, of Slayer and actually look cool. Oh man, I guess I'll take it, right? I mean, it's a thousand points down the drain and it's purple, so... Probably never gonna use it, but I'll throw it in the bank, why not? Oh my god, alright, let's go. <laughs> not even close, by the way. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the raids, man. Much appreciated. I got fucking dwarf with the shit. I appreciate it, buddy. Have a good one, man. Thank you very much, ladies and gents, for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a quick little like. I spend a lot of time these days just recording a bunch of content. And uh, playing two accounts or three accounts at the same time makes it easier for me to actually upload just about every day and if not every day every other day uh, now i'm currently going heavy on the slayer and uh, basically the idea is i want to max my main my iron man and then once that is done i want to max my hardcore iron man as well so i want to have three maxed account and i will be recording all the progress about it and it should be a cool little journey so if that's something you're interested in definitely subscribe a lot of a lot of new videos to come and uh, i'm really excited to produce them also if you want check out my second channel i have some runescape guides there i have some league of legends stuff i have some racing stuff just about anything i don't post to this channel so give it a watch um and with that said hopefully i'll have enough stuff to make another video for tomorrow and i'll see you then bye bye